With the version 20 software release for the R-Series ALS and R-Series Plus, Zoll has added new features and enhancements that improve the functionality of the device, simplify code blue workflow management, and integrate auto-pulse data into case review reports. This video will provide detailed descriptions for each of these improvements. Your facility will inform you which features have been configured to your device. To enhance the user experience, the R-Series will display a larger CPR timer on the user interface. Configurable settings were added to facilitate improved visual and audible feedback, prompting completion of compressions at the end of a CPR period in both AED and manual modes. The CPR timer can be highlighted approximately five seconds before the end of the CPR period CPR. and issues a stop CPR prompt approximately three seconds before the end of the CPR period. The CPR timer will begin again once compressions resume and are detected by Zoll authorized CPR electrodes. Restart chest compressions per your local protocol after analysis and a shock, no shock decision. A new shock counter can now be added to the screen when the R Series ALS or R Series Plus is in manual mode, allowing users to easily view the current number of shocks provided to the patient. New configurable code markers were added to include a broader range of procedures and notes. The expanded list includes ROSC, intraosseous IO administration, supraglottic airway SGA, steroid and glucagon administration. A configurable option has been added to the device to change pacing text options from asynchronous, synchronous, to fixed, demand, to match facility preference. The new AutoPulse recognition algorithm automatically detects AutoPulse or AutoPulse NXT resuscitation system compressions when using the R-Series Monitor Defibrillator with authorized Zoll CPR electrodes. When the R-Series ALS or R-Series Plus monitors detects the auto-pulse signature compression, the on-screen CPR feedback adjusts to display auto-pulse in the CPR dashboard, and audio prompts for the depth of compression are suppressed. Autopulse data is incorporated into the CPR report in RescueNet case review, allowing users to easily differentiate between manual and automated compression periods. With Autopulse data integration into RescueNet case review, users can trend automated CPR utilization in their institutions. With software update version 20, Zoll incorporates updates to better suit users' needs, making the flow of information easier during critical events.